evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we will learn how to place led strips properly in the ceiling cove placing the led strips in the ceiling cove is a simple yet challenging step if this step is not done properly you may have dotted effect bright light patterns in the ceiling cove it can even impact your lux calculations so today in this tutorial I will share with you few tips which can help you to properly align your LED strips in any type of ceilings. For today's tutorial, I have considered a sample project of a sitting area and the ceiling here is inner cove. This is the inner cove. I have to place the LED strip here. If you want to learn how to make this ceiling detail, I have a detailed tutorial on that. I will link that video in the description below. Now, to get the IES files of the LED strip, you can go for lumesearch.com or luminous.dialogs.com. Okay, this is a website wherein Dialogs offers you various luminous manufacturers IES files, ULD files and even LDT files. In the search bar, I will type LED strip and search and I get different options. For now, let's select this one. If you scroll down, you can check the length, width and height of the IES files. I will send to the dialogs. This is my IES files. I will place the luminar. Okay. See the luminar. When I place the luminar, I know that this is of one meter length if you are not sure about what is the length of this is file you can select the tape measure and measure it so this is one meter is file now whenever we use is files of one meter or higher length it is a bit difficult to place it properly okay i will show you an example now whenever you are placing make sure you are in sight mode so that the ceiling is visible okay this is the first rectangle here is this one this one okay and the second rectangle which you see here is this one okay and we'll be placing the led strip in between this correct now when i select led strip and draw line arrangement i will start from here first point and second point okay and if you go to the alignment here you have different options of the alignment you can see the preview three previews and uh, orange color indication is the indication of the is file if you see the thumbnail you can easily understand like what type of arrangement it is we will go for the second one because it is like it starts from end to end or you can go for first one as well okay now once you're done with that one you go to the second option wherein here it gives you the spacing option the dimensioning so this one is the distance from center to the center of the is file and this one is from end to end we will go for end to end because the space between end to end of an is file should be zero if we don't need any space in between so i will manually enter it and make it zero when i give the spacings to be zero the led strip is outside the ceiling it is not inside the ceiling see this part and this part and the number of luminous you see is seven even if i decrease the number of luminous i make it six you have this space in between and when you have this kind of space in between you have that dotted effect in your renders which is not good so to avoid such kind of effects in your renders and lux calculation i suggest you go for LED strips with lesser length. Either you can go for 500 mm or you can go for 100 mm. Placing the luminous with 500 mm or 100 mm is much easier. Now let me show you where you can get the IS files of such small length. You can go for brand, search here Collingwood. Here we have show products in the dialog luminous finder. You will be directed to this page and here you just type LED strip enter if you want to further give any filters you can go for shape and dimensions and here you can specify the length but for now let's just not uh, specify the length because here itself it will be mentioned okay like suppose here it's mentioned 10 centimeters if you see it is 4.8 watts i don't need uh, 4.8 watts let me search for something less wattage if you see this one it is 500 mm and it is 2.4 watts 
see 100 mm 50 mm here we have again 10 centimeters which is 100 mm and it is 1.44 watts i think it is good you can select the ios files as per your specification go to the downloads download file is file is downloaded double click this is the ldt file i'll drag and drop the is file okay this is very small length okay and it is very easy to align such small is files we select draw line arrangement we select the first point we select the second point okay and we make sure we are choosing this option then we'll go to the second tool and we will select end to end dimensioning and we will make this zero okay now you see here my led strip is properly positioned without any gaps okay i'll go to the side view elevation rotate it bring it to the top see this is my ceiling cove and here is where i have to place the is files right this length and this length is similar so i will just do ctrl c ctrl v align it here okay see here i have placed it between this first and second lines now same way here to draw line arrangement once you have done this setting one time it will be the same you don't have to do it again and again so i will start from here see the way i'm moving it forward uh, the distance between the two is file is zero and i can easily increase the length to where i need and i can stop it there simple once you make the settings it is same it will be same for the rest okay i'll go to the side views here is my is file i will rotate it bring it to the top here okay because this is my ceiling cove from here control c control v drag it to the other side and position it properly okay if there is small minor adjustments you need to make you can use the cursor tools and you can do the small adjustments so this way if you see you don't have any major gaps in between the is files nor you have any overlapping of the is files either you can use 100 mm or you can use even 500 mm you can use even one meter length is files only if you have standard length like for example if this was only six meter i would have used only the same one meter is file of the led strip instead of switching to lesser length but here we don't have any standard length this was around around 6.2 and this if you see it is 2.7 so it's obvious that we can't use standard 1 meter length IES files. That's the reason we switch for either 500 mm or 100 mm. If you do not have IES files or the LDT files with this length, editing the IES files is also easy. We'll be discussing this in my upcoming tutorials. Now, since we have placed the LED strips properly in the ceiling cove, let me run the calculation. Calculation is completed let us set the view and generate the render let us make it something like this so that the ceiling curve is properly visible save new view ray tracer i will increase the resolution and start ray tracing it's completed and you can see the effect of the cove light perfect if you see the reflection even on the mirror you don't have that dotted effect of the led strips nor you have that bright light patterns of the led strip lights perfect this is how you select the is files for led strips and align it in a ceiling curve to get this perfect effect so this is it guys in this video i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you